Half a day, floss tube. I'm little one. And I'm Lynette here at Homesteading on the Homefront. It is Sunday, November 25th, 2018. We want to wish everyone a happy Thanksgiving weekend. Hope you had great food and great times with those you love. Um, this was our first Thanksgiving home since 2007. And it was our first Thanksgiving with my parents and my brother and my nieces and my husband home ever. Um, because in 2007, he was in Afghanistan. So it was a very happy Thanksgiving for us. We loved being, being able to um, spend it with family. So we are back. It's been, I think, Veterans Day weekend was the last time we filmed. Um, so... We're back. We have some stitching to show. I um, want to talk about the Frugal Yankee Retreat coming up and um, lots of stitching to show you. First of all, I need to say a thank you to Lorraine at Rags to Stitches. Um, she sent me a lovely um, bee pattern to stitch and did I remember to bring it with me to Newport this weekend? No, I did not. So thank you, Lorraine. It was very much appreciated and a very happy um, surprise. Um, you want to talk about your whip? Sure. So, my whip is Snowy Friends by Country Cottage Needleworks. That's what it's going to look like. And this is what it looks like currently. I've got part of the border done. Um, I finished the other, this, this second tree, and I did the bunny. So that'll be a finish for next time. Maybe. Maybe. I have a lot of whips because I remember to bring them all with me. Usually um, when we're in Newport, you just get to see um, the Nantucket Project, which I am renaming the Newport Project. And I got a lot done on this this weekend. I finished building the house and the fence, and I got all of those words done below the house. So I have to build a ship, and uh, we're getting there. I'm still loving this one. I'm sad that I can't work on it all the time, but maybe that's why I love it so much. Um, also, I brought with me um, His Eyes on the Sparrow, because you guys have not seen that in a long, 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 long time. And I wanted to show you what I've done. So I have to take it apart because I'm ill-prepared here. But, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get it all in one shot. I started at the top um, left. And I have made it all the way down to the bottom. So I'm excited about that. That means I'm approximately somewhere between a third and a fourth of the way done. So, um, that has become my project to work on when I don't have another project to work on or I'm at a standstill with another project because I'm out of floss, etc., etc. But, um, again, still loving that one, um, and can't wait to finish it. <laughs> it's going to be a while. It is going to be a while. All right, another one that you guys have not yet seen is, um, Hello Winter. I started this one as kind of a companion piece to um, Tis the Season. And I'm using the same colors, um, well part of the same colors, and then some of the colors that, that Nancy had done for Tis the Season that I didn't use, I am using in this one. So this is what it's looking like. I'll get my fancy board in back here. So basically, um, I needed to come down here where all of my DMCs are stored and um, get 3799 in order to continue on. So hopefully this will be a finish before too much longer. And then what else have we got? <laughs> so this one I saw um, when I went out to Bush Mountain's opening. And I thought that was a little, a cute little, um, small. It's a Lizzie Kate Liberty. And so I started it. 
and realized that I didn't have the dark blue that I needed for the Liberty and it was it's hard to like go on without that Liberty so I've collected the dark blue that I need here and I'll be able to finish that one up as well I know I am usually a one project at a time girl so this is very <laughs> unusual <laughs> Um, this is a project you guys haven't seen either. Um, I bought this is a little kit for, I think I paid 75 cents for it at the thrift store in Virginia before we even left for Guam. And of course I did not feel like stitching snowmen, um, when we were in Guam. So now see how he's got this jacket on? Yeah, I didn't really like that. So the first time I did it. I made him all white and I loved how he came out because it just so happens that maroon and gold are our school colors so I had enough to do another one um, I just I used a different white that came than the one that came in the kit and I might even have a, enough to do a third but he um, this is the project that I had taken with me when I originally started subbing um, it's a school that I used to teach at and it was a straight up sub job so I could go and stitch and it was fine and then I started the long-term sub job <laughs> and now I no longer have time to do anything during the day except schoolwork um, so that goes with Liberty and then my last my last ones that I wanted to show you I finally got around to stitching the border on the um, the quilt squares that I designed. So that's one of them. This is Lori's quilt with the border. This is Vanna's quilt with the border. They're all so nicely ironed. Well, they're not really ironed. It's just because the fabric was so stiff. And this is Chelsea's Hens and Chicks pattern with the border. And that's all that I've done so far. But if you follow Vanna the Twisted Stitcher on Facebook, she recently posted the whole set of all eight of the ornaments that I had designed. And they came out beautiful. And it was the first time that I had seen them all stitched up because I've got four of them done. I don't have eight of them done. Um, so if you are here because you found me through Vanna's post, I would like to say welcome. Um, I will link the episodes below where I gave those patterns so that if you would like to stitch them yourself, you um, are more than welcome to do that. I still need to finish, um, in fact, I haven't even started the actual quilts that came with this. Um, so that's on my to-do list as well. Um, we are not getting our household goods until I think December 12th. So, and of course, all of my finishing stuff is packed away somewhere. So chances are those aren't going to be on our tree this year and that's fine. They'll, they'll be there next year. Yep. Um, okay. I think that is all of my whips. That's enough of them. <laughs> Hopefully, um, there will be some finishes. Actually, my, my um, quilt squares were finishes, so hopefully some of the other projects will be finished by the next time we film. Um, do you want to show your finish? Yes, I would. <laughs> I'm so excited I finished this. It's been a while since I started it. May. There it is, the reading sampler. You see the bottom with the 2018. I love how it I love how it turned out and now I just need a frame. So the hunt is on for the perfect size frame, which we will find eventually, I'm sure. Eventually, but when? I don't know. Are you glad to have it done? Oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what are you gonna work on after your um frosty forest is done? Um, I have some other Christmas ornaments that I brought. And I'm going to be doing those. Okay. 
Um, I have one project that I brought with me to show you because um, Julie's husband Dan out in Nebraska has had stitched this and it caught my eye. And then Farm Girl was stitching it and she showed her finish which was absolutely gorgeous. And I knew that I had to have it. And so I purchased it off of eBay. It is this one that you've all seen. And then um, Kelly of the Joan and Kelly show <clears throat> has, has it hanging behind them in their last two couple of um, videos. And it just really cemented the fact that I love this project. Now, I am not usually a, um, a solid stitcher, which this one is pretty much solid stitching. Um, but it's going to be gorgeous. And so what I'm thinking of doing, I knew that I wanted to have a snowy day project. Um, can't, Colorado... Kansas City girl in a Colorado world. She's the one who first gave me this idea of having a, a snow day project. And of course, when we were living in Guam, that was kind of pointless. And so I had a project all picked out that I was going to use as my snow day project. But then I realized that it's a Santa Claus. And come like January, February, I don't want to stitch Santas anymore. So I am thinking that this one is going to be my snow day project because this will take me... Um, through the winter and I, I don't think I'll get sick of it. Um, my only concern is that I have Sparrow as like a big project and I don't know if I want to add another big project. Um, and this one actually isn't as big as you might think. It's, it's fairly skinny. It's, um, the frame is five and a half by 18 without a mat. So it's not a very tall project. And I think if I work on it during the winter and maybe next winter, I could have it done. So I don't know. Or I may just want to have it done and work on it next fall too. I don't know what's going to happen. We're just going to have to go with it. Um, I have started making my 2019 plans, so I have a good idea of the projects that I'm going to be tackling. Um, I will go over them with you when I have them all together in one place and I can show them to you. Um, it may be the first part of 2019 before that actually happens, um, since we will be busy unpacking. We close on the house in less than two weeks. And like I said, our household good come, goods come on December 12th. So um, it's going to be a busy time leading up to Christmas. Um, but I am working on my 2019 plans. I've been going over my 2018 goals and I'm happy to say that most of the projects that I wanted to stitch, I got done. So I'm excited about that. And it really, I think it did help me to have a list and a plan going into 2019 or 2018. So I'm, I'm going to do that again for 2019. My goals are in my whip binder, which is in storage as of now so, so you don't know what your goals were no i know that was like finished 12 projects and i don't know if i've done that we'll have to see yeah. all right so i also want to talk about the um frugal yankee retreat that we have coming up for those of you who missed it in my last video we are gathering at the residence in i believe it's in westford massachusetts um the last weekend in March, I think it's the 29th, 30th, and 31st, um, it's going to be a no frills retreat. So basically, you book your room, and I will um, post the link below. We've, we've got a group rate on the rooms. Every room has a full kitchen and a seating area. So um, if there's no room in the common area out in the um, hotel, then you can always have friends in your room stitching. Um, and yeah, no frills. So no classes, no gift bags. Like it's just going to be come and stitch. 
We are gonna stitch in the common area at the hotel. There is no private like ballroom or conference room that we could rent. Um, and that's good because it keeps the cost down. Um, so literally the only thing that you have to worry about paying for is your room. Um, we will be able to get into that common area after breakfast is over in the morning. Um, so if you are an early morning stitcher, Again, seating areas in the rooms, just invite people in and, and stitch away. Um, I have made the Facebook group for those who already have um, reservations, and I will post that link below. Um, again, it's only for those who already have reservations. So if you've made your reservations, then um, request to join. Um, you, the password or question you have to answer in order to get into the Facebook group is um, giving me a portion of your um, confirmation number. Um, so it, it's going to be a good group of people. We've got people coming down from Maine. We've got people coming up from Connecticut. We've got people from several parts of Massachusetts coming. I have no idea how many, um, if it's going to be, I, I don't think it's going to be like a huge retreat, which is nice. Like if we can fill the 20 rooms, then I'm happy with that. Cause I think that's a good number. I want to get to know people and be able to talk to everyone. And, and, um, cause I don't think I'm going to be able to talk to everyone at StitchCon. <laughs> um, so this will be a nice small retreat. It is, um, the hotel is next to the World of, uh, the World in Stitches, which is a stitching shop, um, one of the two that we have here in Massachusetts. It's also next to the Quilted Crow, which um, it, the Quilted Crow is not a cross-stitch shop, but they do have anything you want for quilting, tons of um, fabrics, but they also have extensive wool applique. So there's wool um, and they sell Valdani. So um, if, if those hobbies interest you, then I would definitely plan on visiting the Quilted Crow while you're in the area because it's a nice shop. Um, and I think that's it. We are, we're only at 17 minutes. Look at wow. that. That was a short video considering all I had to show. Yeah. I might want to finish all those lips before you start anything else. <laughs> I will not be starting anything else until some of the whips go. But you saw, they're small projects. They'll, they'll be done in, in no time at all. Um, so yeah, hopefully the next time we see you, um, we will own a house. Okay. And I will have some finishes to show, and I can maybe talk about 2019 in more detail, or and or um, go over my 2018 accomplishments as a year in review. So, um, with that, we wish you all a happy December because I cannot believe it's November. Not December yet? I know, but November is like almost done. We've got five more days. It's crazy to me. Um, and until we meet again, we wish you fair winds and following seas.